Good morning, good morning, and welcome to day three of our 2023 Disney World trip. The kids are loaded up in this stroller, so I don't think I have very long, but we are going to Cape May Cafe here at the Beach Club for breakfast. It's a character meal, and the characters are dressed up in beach outfits, and I just think it's going to be so much fun. So we just got all dressed. I got a little more dressed up than I normally would here in Disney World for breakfast, just because why not? And we're gonna go enjoy it. I think Nora's gonna really love the characters. I actually booked this last night. I didn't book any character meals for this trip because the last time that she encountered characters, she was really scared of them. And of course, I'm not gonna pay a premium for her to be scared. But yesterday and the day before, she's just been loving meeting the characters. So we changed our plans and I made some reservations for Cape May Cafe. So we're planning on having a very low key morning. I think we're gonna do Cape May Cafe, maybe the pool, take a walk, let the kids play outside. And then this afternoon into evening, we're gonna head into Hollywood Studios and we have Rise of the Resistance Lightning Lane passes for this evening. So that's kind of what we're planning on doing. We're taking a bit of a low key morning and maybe early afternoon because we had a 15 hour day with the kids yesterday and it was wild they did so well but we're all a little bit exhausted so we're just going to take it a little bit slower this morning and we'll pick up the pace this evening and enjoy our evening in hollywood studios which will be really fun so that is what we're up to good morning and welcome to our day we just checked into cape may cafe and they told us that they, we needed a few more minutes because it's 903 and our reservation is at 920. so we are just enjoying taking all it, the sights and sounds in before we actually head in. The Beach Club has been such a nice resort. There's so many great things about it. I love the theming. It smells so good. The cast members have been so friendly and wonderful. So we've had, and of course the proximity to Epcot is huge. Nora saw Donald and he, she said, he's got a cowboy hat on. And I was cracking up. I was like, that's our Texas kid. <laughs> I said, that's a beach hat. Colin! <laughs> Sweet boy. Wow, I love it. <laughs> Colin, what do you think? Colin, can you say hi? <laughs> Is he pointing at a duck? I don't know, A, B, C, D. Oh, no. It's a deer. What a miss. <laughs> Nor Nor. No, you got goofy with me? You got goofy with you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not even good. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Careful. Hello! Colin's loaded up in the stroller again. This is the only time when I feel like I can film. <laughs> Um, so we just finished up breakfast at Cape May Cafe and we are in swimwear because we're gonna go to the beach. Um, Cape May Cafe breakfast, character breakfast was just absolutely adorable. The character interactions were long and personalized and just really fun. If you have a child that is a bit shy when it comes to characters, I really recommend if you just have any toy, like Disney related toy, like a little Mickey or like we had a stuffed Goofy with us today, all of the characters that came by the table interacted with that, which really helped make Nora, I think, feel more comfortable. So it was just a really pleasant experience. The food was really good, really solid. The, um, what was that bread they had, Nora? I mean, Riley, with the, um, like, cream, vanilla cream sauce? That was caramel something bread. It was, like, caramel breakfast bread with, like, a, it had, like, a streusel topping, and then you poured, like, this vanilla bean cream sauce. That was really yummy. I got an omelet from the omelet bar that was great. So definitely it was really good. It is a pretty penny. Character meals are always very expensive. Um, but I was really happy to get to have all the characters come to us and for our kids to get to meet all of the characters in such a low key setting. And we got to kill two birds with one stone because of course we got breakfast as well. So I don't even know what time it is. I'm going to guess like 1030. 1046. So it's about 1046. We're going to head down to the pool. Our plan is to spend a few hours at the pool and then we'll head to Hollywood Studios later this afternoon. So come along with us to Storm Along Bay. Nora, where are we going? To the pool. We're going to the big, big pool? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. Are we going to the pool? <laughs> Colin's excited. He wants to get out. Let's go. Say go. Mm -hmm. Go. Go, 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 go. We have arrived at Storm Along Bay. It is a beautiful day. Let me check the temperature here on my watch. It's 80 degrees. It's not super crowded. The kids are having a great time. So this pool is super cool because it's actually sand bottomed. The bottom of the pool is a sand is sandy. So there's like a sandbar that was created. It's just really fun. Everybody's having a great time. They do have life jackets available for kids, which I did not know. So I brought ours, but I am glad to know that now that they have them. Hurricane Hannah's just open for the day, so we will probably get some snacks and drinks there in a little bit. But just thoroughly enjoying this beautiful weather and the time to be outside. Get some good vitamin D and just enjoy it. Nora, let's go see what Bubba's doing. Come on. So we actually ended up switching life vests. So Colin has Nora's life vest on and Nora's borrowing one from here because this one isn't so tight around the neck and he was really upset with the one that Nora's wearing. So anyway, it doesn't matter, but we did bring that one from home, but the, the one that Nora's wearing is from here. And they do check, and you have to have a wristband that you're staying at the beach or the yacht club in order to swim here, just so you know. Well, we have had such a fun day. We spent several hours at Storm Along Bay swimming, and the kids played in the sand, and we just had such a great time. And we built a sand castle. They're once again buckled into the stroller having a little snack. Um, let's see, it's four o'clock now. So we got back here, I don't know how long it was. One-ish, one, one thirty. We all took a nap, it was very refreshing. And then we all got dressed. And um, this shirt is old, but I still love it. it. Has It's like Mickey coffee cups. Now we are heading out to go ride the Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios. We have a dinner reservation that I snagged this afternoon at Primetime Cafe. Unlike pretty much every other trip, I didn't book any dining except for just Space 220 for this trip um, because I was not sure how it would go. So we've just been making reservations as the days go and we have had no problems, which has been so wonderful. So we're going to Primetime Cafe for dinner. I'm super excited about it. I don't think, I don't think Riley and I have ever gone. I went as a child when I came to Disney World with my family when I was in seventh grade, but Riley's never been, I don't think, and the kids have never been. So we're going to go do primetime cafe for dinner, and then Riley and I both have a lightning lane um, rise of the resistance at, I think our window is 7.30 to 8.30. So we'll have to ride individually because we can't take the kids with us. But um, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Riley is a 
huge Star Wars fan, so he is thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to ride it. I just want to see it because I've heard it's incredible. So we're really looking forward to this evening. Um, and riding the Skyliner will be fun and all of that. So come along. We're going to Hollywood Studios. Have you had a fun day today? Uh -huh. What do we do? Play in the pool. Played in the pool? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. We are heading on to the Skyliner. We just had a lovely walk over. Thank you. From Beach Club, and on the way, we bumped into a beautiful subscriber and her family, Amanda. She has a little girl and she has a little boy on the way, and we got to talk to her for a little while. So, hi, Amanda. Thank you for introducing yourself. So, we're gonna walk up here and ride our Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios, and by the time we get there, we'll have just a little bit of time to kill before we have our dinner reservation at 5:30. It's 4:30 now. So getting into the park and through security and all that, I think will take probably 30 to 45 minutes. And then, then actually it'll be time to eat, which is good because I'm really hungry. I Riley's excited about the chicken. And the deviled eggs. Oh, I haven't been since I was in seventh grade. So I don't really, I don't know what I'm gonna get. that doesn't require us to totally break down the stroller all packed up is such a win. I like it. I keep liking it. You keep liking it? Yeah. It's fun. Uh-huh. We'll go back one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I like it. You really do. We just got here to Hollywood Studios. The sun is extremely bright because it's in the middle of setting. But we are here just in time. It's 5 o'clock. Our dinner reservation's at 5.30. So by the time we get through security and make our way over to Primetime Cafe, I think it'll be just perfect. I'm extremely hungry. I haven't eaten since we went to breakfast, which was at 9. So 9.30, I think. So we're looking forward to a yummy meal. Okay, we made it in. Just a quick little hiccup with the phone situation. <laughs> A lot of people are leaving the park, so that's nice. But there are plenty of people coming in too. It's about 5.10, so we're gonna head right over for our reservation. And we don't have Genie Plus today. We only just bought the Rise of the Resistance Lightning Lane passes, which are separate. But um, we're thinking if we stay here into the evening, if the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway line dies down some this evening, we'd be willing to wait for a little while with the kids to, for them to be able to ride it. But if not, that's okay too. We just got checked in for our dinner. They called us the Lamb Kids. And we are so excited. It's so cute in here. got some drinks so I got grandma's punch and Riley got the Maui Wowie. Cheers. Riley got the deviled eggs which is one of his favorite foods ever. For dinner I got the sampler so it has the meatloaf, some of the fried chicken and some of the pot roast with green beans and mashed potatoes and Riley got the chicken and we're, I got the goldfish to give the kids but the food was already here so we're going to share it with them. For dessert, we got pineapple upside down cake and dad's chocolate peanut butter cake. Nora, do you like it? We just left our meal here at Primetime Cafe and it was absolutely delicious. Everything was so yummy. We ate every single bite. The favorite, I think, for me was the pineapple upside down cake. Riley loved his chicken. 
I ate everything on that sampler platter. I mean, we really devoured it. We were hungry because we haven't eaten since brunch. The kids have eaten, but we haven't. And I kind of got there early and I was sitting there and I saw them. It is, let's see, it's 6.30. So we have an hour until our um, Lightning Lane passes for Rise. So we're gonna walk around, maybe go walk through Galaxy's Edge or something. But we haven't been here at night in a long time. It's really nice. Oh, you want to go to Toy Story Land for a little bit? It's like at night. This is the only park of the four that I just don't feel like I know super well. All three of the others, I feel like I really know like the back of my hand, especially Magic Kingdom and Epcot because that's where we spent the most time. I feel like I can navigate those parks just so easily. This one gets me a little bit more turned around, so <laughs> we're working on learning it. So the whole shtick with Primetime Cafe is that your kids, so they're like, blam kids, come for dinner, and then you have like a family member waiting on you is like the whole deal. So we had cousin Jordan, he was hilarious. He just kind of like threw stuff on the table and it was just like, I don't know, it was really funny. So. When I went way back when, we had an older woman who, I guess she was supposed to be our mom or our auntie or something, and she was strict. And she kept yelling at us, and we didn't have all that tonight, but it was still really fun. Probably better for Nora to not have someone yelling at her. I don't know how she would <laughs> handle that. We are in Galaxy's Edge wandering around. Unfortunately, Rise of the Resistance is temporarily down, which is a real bummer because our lighting lane is here in just a couple minutes, but we'll see. Maybe it will come back up by then. If not, I'm sure there's some kind of refund process or rebooking process or something. It sure does. This is salacious crap. I was like joking about how I don't understand why people want like Remy on their shoulder and stuff. People would what? Don't want like that Remy on their shoulder yeah. and stuff. But this is like uh I like this one. You would wear that one? That's what Jabba has on him in the movie, Salacious Crumb. Oh yeah. See, I'm to get one of these little plushies here. Oh for Colin? Yeah. Which one do you want to get it? Colin, do you like uh Looks like a uh, pod racing engine, but they're using it to cook. Put some meat on it. So we spent a good while walking through Galaxy's Edge and now we're in Toy Story Land. Rise of the Resistance is apparently back up and running. So we will head that way shortly, but we're gonna enjoy this little land a little bit first. So here is alien swirling saucers on our left and then Slinky Dog is down past that and then Toy Story Mania. It feels like a lifetime ago that Riley and I were here for early morning magic, right when Toy Story Land had just opened. We didn't have any kids yet, I wasn't pregnant. just rode Rise of the Resistance. We had to go separately so the other one could watch the kids. What did you think? It was so cool. It was like, yeah, it was so awesome. I didn't watch any videos this whole time, so I would be kind of surprised 
Um, and I was, it was like, it was so long and elaborate and huge, it was awesome. I thought the same thing. I was, my jaw was just on the ground the entire time because you just keep going. There's so much and it's so elaborate and the inside is so huge and I didn't watch ride videos either so I was completely surprised. Riley's a huge Star Wars fan so I knew he would just like love it. Yeah, I loved it. That was smiling the whole I'm not like a, I'm, I don't dislike Star Wars but I'm not like a massive okay. fan but I would just sat there and just couldn't believe it. It was incredible. Very glad we made the uh, the fast pass or whatever they're called, the lightning lane, um, and got to ride it. We had no weight whatsoever, but it was wonderful. We had such a good time. So now we're just hanging out. Colin just fell asleep in the stroller. It's 8.30. Park closes at 9. Um, so we're just kind of meandering around and enjoying the evening, and we'll head back home to the beach club on the Skyliner here shortly. You can see the Tower of Terror all lit up at night. It's really, really cool. And we are over in sort of like this Disney Junior area. So they have like this Doc McStuffins set where you can meet Doc McStuffins and then Vampirina's right here and then Fancy Nancy's down at the end. And Nora, Nora really loves, I'm surprised she doesn't love Doc McStuffins more actually because she just totally loves doctor stuff. Maybe we just haven't shown it to her enough, but she loves Fancy Nancy. So um, maybe next time we come, we'll do with, with a character breakfast at I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place with the camera. Maybe the next time we come, we'll do the character breakfast at Hollywood and Vine. I think she would probably really enjoy that. It's a shame Colin's asleep because he's been trying to run around for several hours and we've just been trying to contain him, you know, and this whole courtyard area is completely empty. This would be such a good time. <laughs> he could just run free, but of course, now he's asleep. I heard that this Little Mermaid attraction was closed and I heard rumors that it was because of a mold issue, but I could just be making that up. I'm not sure exactly where I heard that and if it's true or not, I should probably look into it. It's such a cute show, I loved it. I love the way they do the lights up at night. It's just really charming, I think that's really fun. It is emptied out a lot. I don't know if everyone's over at Fantasmic, oh, or what, but it is a lot quieter here than it was when we arrived. So we actually took the walking path back from Hollywood Studios tonight and um, so we are enjoying the sights and sounds of the boardwalk which we had not ventured out onto yet so it's exciting to see. It's really sweet and cute. I grew up going to the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland and it is just really good memories so it's really fun. So the beach club is actually over there so we are making our way around to get back over there but let's see. It has been so far a 25 minute, 26 minute walk. And it's been just about, almost exactly a mile. So we wanted to do this because the other options were the Skyliner, which had a very long line since it was the end of the day at Hollywood Studios, or um, a boat, which would require us to break down our stroller, which we avoid at all costs because we pack it up so much, as you can see. Um, and Colin is asleep, and so we really didn't want to have to take him out. Oh, this is cute. You want to go walk through there? Sure. The shop? Wow, I love this. And then there's fireworks going on over at Epcot that you can see here. So we were talking on the way back about what a huge benefit it is staying at Beach Club to be able to walk to two parks and how that just makes things so much easier with kids. Oh, this is cute. What a nice little shop. I have not picked out a souvenir yet. Either has Riley, but either has Colin, only Nora. Nora got a little Goofy and a little Pluto. Oh, Nora, look at all the little toys. I would like to get a 50th anniversary sweatshirt of some kind. I usually get one of those every time I come and then basically wear holes in it because I wear it so much on the weekends lounging and stuff. And... I loved the one that I got the last trip, but I've worn it and worn it and worn it, and it's time for something fresh. But I haven't seen anything. I really haven't looked around too much, though, to be honest. Look at this dress for Nor Nor, Riley. Oh, that's cute. Nora? Nora, do you like this little dress? Is uh, mine? I don't know. It seems like something super cute for you. 
You like it? You can't twirl in it. Okay. If you can't twirl, it's it's a no go if you can't twirl. Is this a fuzzy spirit jersey? Oh, it sure is. It sure is. This is such a great souvenir shop. I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about this too much. Oh. That's so cute. Wow, they have a Disney Lily Pulitzer collection? I never knew about that. Excuse me. Here's some 50th stuff. Okay, I'll meet you there. This is cute. Okay, so this is just like food and stuff, like what we have at the marketplace. Do you have anything cute, and different, and special? I love this. Nora would love this. Let's see if they've found anything. Did you find anything? What did you find? A backpack? Wow, that is the perfect size for you. <gasps> oh, you love suitcases. Those are a perfect size for you. Wow, Nora. That's a great shop. Yeah, I like that shop. Really nice shop. They had like resort wear in there. They had like a Lily Pulitzer and Disney situation. I didn't even know that existed. Nothing beats Disney at night for me. I just love it so, so much. So relaxing, there's so much to do. Oh, they have these big bikes, Nora, look. And a bunch of people ride on one bike. We can ride around the boardwalk. Isn't that cool? Those are bikes, but they're really big. I'm coming out of there. And we have made it back to the beautiful beach club. It was such a nice walk. It took about 35 minutes. And uh, it was just lovely. So we're gonna go inside, get some water, and get to bed. Let's see, it's about 9.30 now, and we are heading to Animal Kingdom in the morning, so we gotta rest up. Hello, hello, it's, I'm sure there's a lot of ambient noise, so I'll get closer to the camera so you can hear me. It's just about 10, both kids are asleep. I'm standing in like the little bathroom section so that um, they stay asleep. But I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. We had a really, really great day. It was super fun. My battery's flashing, which means it's time for me to put the camera away for the day and get some good rest. Thank you for coming along with us on our adventures today. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification button and check back for my next vlog because tomorrow we are going to... My camera died. <laughs> um, it but I was just saying tomorrow we're going to Animal Kingdom, so make sure to check back for my next vlog for that. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow.